Hey, what's on guys? Neff here. Welcome back to another video. It has been quite a while since I've actually recorded. Two weeks, I think. Um, and to make up for the gap, I did a live stream yesterday where we played a bit of Call of Duty. Um, and we just had a little chat. It was quite nice to hang out with everyone. I'm going to be doing a weekly live stream now. Just because I think it's quite cool to hang out with people. Uh, I hope everyone's doing quite well. Um, the bike does that now, apparently. I do not know what that was. It does it after it just starts. And it goes, you know, about half a mile and then it all just... Blunk. But it's, it's really confusing as to why it does that. I'm going to figure that out. I think it's the lock set. So we'll look at that. But anyway, today goes, I'm going to be talking about the topic of how I became a moto vlogger. Or, you know, if it's easier to, uh, to get across how I got my first thousand subscribers. You know, just for the topic of that conversation, we'll go for a little ride. Um, so I started my channel two years ago, last month, I think. Or this month, basically. We're, 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 two, we're two years old, guys. Way. Hey. Um, and we've come a long way. We've got a thousand subscribers. And people constantly ask me, how, how did I get to where I was? Um, and the way that I did that was I found what's called a niche market. Um, and that is just a tiny market where... Um, you make content designed for a very small amount of people um, and that was where you know I hit strong with people and that was the Yamazaki video so when I first got my Yamazaki I could not find anybody else making videos on it I couldn't find any information on it so I thought well a lot of other people are going to be in you know the same zone as me soon if they're getting this bike and if they want to know about it and they can't then we're just going to be rolling the dice like I did but I pulled a pro gamer move and you know started making the videos I bought the bike um, and then that's where I started to get traction one of my videos now has I think just under 50,000 views which is where a lot of the uh, biking started I, I will admit in them first videos I was very wrong with what I was saying there was a lot that didn't make sense, but that was because <laughs> it was my first motorbike and I was making a lot up. Man, I got an old car right on my ass. It's quite nice though. Can't fault him. But yeah, so that's how we first started making Yamazaki videos back in the day. Um, but my first video was a GPR 125-2T startup. Um, without voice or anything it didn't really do too well I just wanted to show off the fact that I had a bike that started and I actually blew that bike up and we had to sell it um, but it is what it is we moved on to the Yamazaki and found the channel um, which I wouldn't be do wouldn't be able to do right now if it wasn't for the Yamazaki so I thank you know cheap bikes for us for making the bike and I thank the world for it not being popular and I thank my dad for helping me buy it <laughs> that was a weird thank you message there but then of course we moved on from the Yamazaki over to the Yamaha YZFR 125 which is debatably one of the most popular 125s uh, that get ridden uh, so I was really you know interested in talking about that one as well so I made all the reviews um, I've done 0 to 60 videos, I've made all the videos that I personally am interested about. So when I think so when I get a bike, I think of stuff I'd want to Google, I'd make that title when I go make the video. Uh, but we then moved on to the Derby GPR 125 2016. Never did a moto vlog on it though. I just did that review and um, I did a review in a side by side with a Yamaha. So obviously, you know, that wasn't exactly a series on the channel it just dropped under bike reviews uh, so that was about it for that one and then obviously after that you know we stayed on the 2014 Yamaha came over to the 2019 Yamaha um, and obviously now I'm gaining traction again because it's a bike not many people have that van is right on my ass um, so I, I'm very glad I get to also be making 2019 videos so like the Nord 60 uh, was not the best attempt I could have had but still tried to pull it off uh, we are going to be attempting that again as well with some advice from my dad about how to get even faster but we're going to be trying that one next I really do like this bike though if you guys think about getting a bike get a 2019 they are rapid 
Um, but yeah, so that was the content I made. So I really just tried to, um, you know, as a new biker, I kind of made videos on what I wanted to find out about the bike. Just so when someone else is in the same boat as me, they're not, you know, completely stuck for what to, you know, stuck for information like I was. Uh, so that was why I made that video. If you guys can hear a little crackling in the background, I'm not sure where that's coming from. It feels like it's coming from the GoPro, but also the locks there at the same time, it's really confusing me. Uh, but yes, so the, obviously the next important part, it's all well and good you can have the content, but you've also got to have the quality. Why does nobody nod back? <laughs> um, so, I used, to start with, I had a £2 action cam from Wish, which you guys know how that one went. It, it was not horrible, <laughs> but it was not good at all. Uh, and I recorded my audio through the same microphone I use now actually, but um, it was recorded to my phone, it was in my pocket, instead of it all being all in one like it is now. Um, which I'm lucky to have it like it is. It makes it so much easier to make videos. Um, and then I moved on to the GoPro Hero 2018. And then I, you know, software unlocked it into the Hero 5 so I could do 4K uh, on 12 megapixels, which was quite cool. It was a huge upgrade for my channel. Um, I then also, after that, got the GoPro Pro mic adapter which then turned my setup into, you know, god mode. Which was amazing. Um, so all I do now is hit record and everything goes onto the GoPro. All, all the footage and voice comes out all in one, you know, MP4 clip. It's so much easier to make videos now. Um, which is what I'm really looking for, just ease of recording. Because my exhaust booming against the wall, because that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, so that was that. Um, and then after that, about two years ago, no, a year ago, sorry, I then upgraded to the GoPro Hero 7 Black, just because um, I saw it on the GoPro website and it had hyper, um, a feature called Hypersmooth, which means you can, you know, it stabilises your footage for you, which, you know, my neck is a pretty good gimbal as it goes, but, you know, there's always room for improvement, so I thought I'd get some software on, on top of it as well. Which I've got to say was well worth it. Because honestly, you know, this GoPro has made my channel worth, you know, a lot more than what it already is. Nobody nods back. It's slightly irritating. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be careful on these roads. They are so confusing. So yeah, then, um, I also use a Purple Panda lapel microphone to record with, just because it's high quality. It is insane. And I also think it's the same one Walter Riffick uses. Um, from what I've heard, anyway. Um, I haven't got any confirmation of that. So if I am using the same microphone as a big YouTuber, then that's insane to me. Um, but I'm just going to jump into the car park here, guys, and then I'll catch up you know in the next bit where's this guy going he's confusing me uh, let's jump into this car park da, 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 da. and I'll also be recording on the way back as well oh don't take up the whole roundabout man you guys and your big brains oh we're gonna make a motorbike friend there's rarely any motorbikes around here Alright guys, I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. Oh, it's loads! Alright, hey guys, welcome back. We are just leaving. It started to rain. Um, I've been to build a bear. And as you guys know, I've, I, I now play Pokemon Go a bit excessively. Um, and I've bagged myself a Vaporeon. I'm expecting the bike to do its turny offy thingy any second now. So 
it's normally about this distance it just it just resets which is really weird uh, it's raining so if the uh, camera gets covered in water I will try to wipe it in a minute but I'm sorry if the view is obscured uh, isn't that, yeah that's really weird When's it? I, I was hoping it would do it around here if it does so it's just easier to deal with around this, this bit and it's wet so you got to be careful there's horses are they mules or are they donkeys um, that's all of them they could be in it that's well cool <laughs> So much stuff that goes on around here, but I still don't understand. Oh, traffic lights up here. I can't wait for these traffic lights to be gone as well. Go on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not getting stuck behind the floor. I'm gonna go. Either way, I'm going. Either way, I'm going. Screw you. Okay, either way, I'm not going now. Oh. Yeah, so where was that? I was talking about uh, how I became. You what? How I became Zimoto vlogger that I am right now. Um, I'm pretty sure I've, I've I was talking about quality as well um, but guys definitely do quality over content quality over quantity um, you know it's great that you get an upload out every hour but you know if if you're just shoveling out shit no one's gonna watch it I can't see because the rain in my eyes and my visor gets all rainy and I can't see shit through that either but yeah focus on quality so get yourself proper video editing software get yourself some proper equipment um, but don't go you know I'm going to contradict myself a bit here. don't go too all out if you're going to spend you know a grand on equipment for your uh, for a channel that isn't going to even start making money for at least you know a few years maybe if that uh, some people to get to monetization level it, it can take them anywhere from you know, I've, I've heard of people doing it in a month, a month and a half. Uh, I did it in two years, so it really just takes time. You just got to be patient. Like you can't expect anything to just, you know, come to you. You've got to earn it. Is what I've learned. Uh, when I first started, I was. Um, I, thought, I first started doing YouTube when I was about eight, I think, making <laughs> the worst content. But you know, I expected to get you know a million subscribers and people to be interested in my shitty little face reveals where i would turn on my you know i'd be stood in the middle of my bedroom and get my little brother to turn on the light and i'd be like oh, it's me guys when i get like you know a one view and a dislike it was it was an exciting time <laughs> um Uh, you know, I was making you know different channels every few months, and none of them would really work. Um, so it was at that point now I gave up making videos. Are you gonna let him go? Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Just go. Um, so what what I'm trying to say is, don't give up because one day you're gonna find your you know your your sweet spot. Like I said, it just takes time to find it. So for me, it's taken me, you know, 10 years of playing with YouTube to get anywhere, you know, in any sort of sense. So it's, it takes its time, but I promise you, once you get to this, you know, once you get to a rewarding point like I am now, where, you know, I can live stream and actually have people join and make videos that people are genuinely interested in watching. It's honestly an amazing experience. That, and, you know, I thank everyone for giving me a chance to experience it. Um, but yeah, if you're doing videos, just take your time. Uh, don't rush anything and don't get angry or upset because, you know, you just got to be happy with what you've got. Um, there's a Facebook group I'm in. It's called uh, YouTubers Small People kind of thing. Where it's just small YouTubers get to chat to each other and hang out. 
Um, and there was a woman in there the other day, and she she put a comment out there saying, "I've got a thousand subscribers." No, okay, you're not going. I've got a thousand subscribers, and I put out a do donation link, and only one person donated. Uh, why is this? Um, and then she made another one saying, "How do I get more people to um, to send me money on YouTube?" And a big thing is, do not expect money from YouTube. If you're going to sit there um, desperately trying to make money from YouTube, you're going to have a problem. Like money to me is, um, I, I don't make a huge amount from YouTube, um, but you know it, it covers my petrol, so. It doesn't cover my insurance, anything like that, it just covers petrol, so I'm, I'm more than happy to... I'm more than happy with that amount, but... You know, you can't expect to make hundreds off YouTube straight away, you can't expect all your subscribers to... Um, to send you money, to subscribe to Patreons... You know, you name it, you can't expect people to do it. Um, for example, in my live stream yesterday... Uh, it's my first time live streaming, and I pressed on... There's a little dollar sticker at the bottom of my chat and I pressed on it. It says how like, people can send like super chat and stuff where you pay to have your message pinned. Uh, you can spend money to uh, send custom stickers. And I tell people just, you know, don't, <laughs> please don't send me money. Um, and the whole reason I don't want people sending me money is because I don't have... Uh, I, I don't feel like my channel is structured enough to warrant people to be spending money on it if you know what I mean like I don't need to accept donations because I'm not doing anything substantial I'm just hanging out with people but, I mean monetization is you know more than enough to help cover the cost of making YouTube videos but I'm never going to be able to make back I might be able to in a, in a in a good year time I might be able to pay off a GoPro But, you know, that's if I keep making videos. So three years in, I pay off a camera that I paid for three years ago. Do, do, just be patient and you guys will make it. But I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and please do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.